that person uploaded that video on X videos. Welcome back to Tech Summon. Welcome back to yet another video. And today's topic is a bit serious because by this time you might have already seen the title of this video. But I am going to share with you one very important incident which happened in my life, which really changed the way I have been living my life. And I'll be like very honest. So this was, I guess, sometime in the year 2006 or 2007 uh, that I used to have a girlfriend during my graduation time, and. Uh, I was like having a huge, I would say that you, you have that, the mobile bug right inside you that you would want to use it like to the best possible way and even after not having like the best clear camera and everything, I was too much into taking photos and videos and one day when uh, we were just into each other, she was with me in my room, uh, we were into each other and I thought that yeah maybe I should record a video with her consent of course because yeah I was not planning to do the MMS without informing her so yeah uh, it's a bit embarrassing to share this with you guys but yeah uh, so yeah so I recorded the video I kept the phone somewhere in the corner and uh, we were into each other and I recorded like the entire thing which was like over I guess half an hour something yes yeah and uh, yeah so Whenever you, we used to meet after that, we used to just watch that and then enjoy it. And one fine day, I lost my phone. I was not having, first thing, uh, I was not having the passcode in that phone. I was not having any other security thing which can be used in that phone. And yeah, everything was too open. So the person who got it, that person uploaded that video on Xvideos. Xvideos.com, if in case you guys are not aware of it. Uh, that's where like all the porn and everything MMS and everything uh, goes and yeah uh, within like a month me and my girlfriend like pretty popular and then we broke up and I was like sad and after I was sad I could not eat like food for around seven days yeah it was sad it was sad because I could not eat for seven days I'm just kidding guys so uh, what I mean to tell you by this because see I was not on X videos, I was not into her, I was not doing anything at all and I am not even sure whether I had a girlfriend during my graduation time. Yeah. So anyways, let's just come to the point. I'm really very really sorry for making things up. Yeah. So my only point is how you can make sure that you are securing the data which you have on your phone. Be it Android, iOS, I don't care. Because see, the point is, I'm not saying that yeah, all you guys have been recording uh, your MMS and everything with the content of your girlfriend, this and that. Nah. These days, you can actually pay using your credit cards and debit cards and everything. And all that information stays in your phone. You also have your photos, personal photos, personal videos, and a lot of personal sensitive data. So if in case there is a theft, then that will be a huge loss for you. So let's just straight away talk to the point. Point number one, having the lock screen security. But not only that, you should also have the feature so that if in case someone is trying to unlock your phone a lot of times, then your phone should erase all the data. So iOS users already have this feature under the settings. So all they have to do is to go to settings, go to general, password lock and erase my data. So every time any person will be trying to unlock your phone 10 times with the wrong passcode, all the data in the phone will be deleted. I'll come to the point. I know what you're thinking right now. So let me come to the point. And talking about the Android, Android users are not having this feature inbuilt in their phone, but you can use a third party applications like AutoWipe, which will allow you to delete all that if in case someone is trying to unlock your phone with a lock code, which is not correct. Now coming back to what you have been thinking, if in case someone will try to prank on you or maybe try to delete all your data by knowingly trying to enter 10 different incorrect passcodes, then all your data will be lost. So see, this is one reason I am talking about five things you have to do all together to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Let's just talk about point number two. Do not ever leave your phone anywhere. Even if you are at your friend's place or maybe at a public place, do not leave your phone alone even for a minute. Please make sure that you are not believing on anything because when it comes to your personal data, your personal data stays with you. Number three, do not ever try to install any fishy or shady apps. When I'm talking about fishy and shady apps, I mean that do not try to install any application via a third party. Because even if you are trying to download an APK file or maybe an IPA file, 
using the third party sources so that you can actually download the paid app on your phone for free it doesn't work that way because see there are multiple reliable sources from where you can download this i'm not saying that you should not but at the same time please make sure that you are not being too desperate to get something for free if in case it is not available anywhere else and when your phone prompts you and when your phone prompts you that you need to think twice before you are installing these applications yes you should think twice before you are giving it the permission to install it and just in case you guys have no clue what i'm talking about you can always have that anti virus applications or those virus scanning apps which you can install on your phone so that whenever you'll be having anything which is questionable on your phone it will always prompt you and then you can always go and install it the reason i'm suggesting you is because all these applications are having a malware and a lot of viruses which ultimately will be leaking your personal details and you will be in a huge 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 danger and i would also want to include another thing in the same thing that you should not click on any questionable or unidentified links which you have been getting in sms or maybe whatsapp or anything because even if it is something which looks real it is not I'm talking about all those where and you get the lotteries and you get like special offers and this and that because I know most of you guys or maybe I would say some of you guys are too sweet to understand all these things and you all you think is you are actually getting that the moment you click on it shit happens number 4 turn off all the settings which you are not requiring at that time when i say turn off settings i really do not mean to turn off your phone all i mean is maybe say when you talk about wifi or bluetooth or maybe mobile data or anything else or maybe say even when you talk about like this specifically for iPhones or maybe iOS devices you should not have the airdrop on and the reason i'm talking about this is because this will give lesser access to hackers to hack your phone and not only this you will also save a lot a lot of battery on your phone which will be lasting for a longer time so if in case you don't need it i think you should always turn things off and number 5 which is really not in your control but try not to lose your smartphone i totally understand that that is really not in your control and you, no one no one actually would want to lose a smartphone knowingly right so maybe what you can do in this regard is just always make sure that you are having some applications because for ios you always have this find my iphone so you can have that on if in case on your device you don't have anything like that you should always install third party location enabled applications which can later give you your location details if in case you have left it somewhere or it has been stolen by someone so this is it for this video we'll be seeing you again in the next one please make sure that you are having your phone which is ultimately very 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 safe because your data is very very important it's very very personal and you need to make sure that you are not losing it to anyone who can take advantage of that so always try to take care of your phone and your ipad or whatever it is and if in case you like this video please give it a big thumbs up do share this video please do that because this will definitely help a lot a lot of your friends and more importantly please subscribe to tech sam because that's where we have been doing also daily videos every single day and i will try my best to help you with the best i can so that's it for this video we'll see you again in the next one Till then, take care.